The assassination attempt of former President Donald Trump was a dark day for our country. I again extend my deepest sympathies to the family of Corey Comparator and sincere wishes for a swift recovery for Mr. Copenhaver and Mr. Dutch. The Secret Service takes full responsibility for the tragic events of July 13th. This was a mission failure. The sole responsibility of our agency is to make sure our protectees are never put in danger. We fell short of that in Butler, and I'm working to make sure that this failure does not happen again. I'm focused on ensuring that the full resources of the Secret Service are utilized to safeguard our protectees, and I've implemented and will continue to implement changes to ensure that that happens. We are and we will continue to cooperate with pending oversight investigations of the July 13th failure being done now by Congress, the Department of Homeland Security's Office of the Inspector General, and the independent review directed by President Biden. Additionally, the Secret Service's Office of Professional Responsibility is, in, is currently conducting a mission assurance review. As I stated, I am not willing for the I am not waiting for the completion of those reports, and I've directed the Secret Service to take immediate steps to ensure our protectees are indeed safe. And I will summarize those steps in a moment. I am committed to pursuing accountability for the Secret Service's failure in Butler, Pennsylvania. But let me be clear, if policy violations by Secret Service personnel are identified by the agency's mission assurance review, those individuals will be held accountable. And they will be held accountable to our fair and thorough disciplinary process. The first part of that process is an investigation to identify whether policy violations occurred. Potential policy violations are referred to our Office of Integrity and appropriate discipline is administered under our table of penalties. The facts will drive the outcomes of those investigations, and I promise accountability. And I will not rush to judgment nor ignore due process. Every single person within the Secret Service feels the weight of what happened. We are in an unprecedented threat environment and a high operational tempo during this presidential campaign. The men and women of the Secret Service are working incredibly hard and doing their jobs under difficult circumstances. They need to focus on their work, and they need to know that I have their backs, and that is my commitment to them. Don't miss out. Follow One India for real-time updates.